when I was over here, I cut these edges a few minutes ago, and I see some of the, I've got some drip marks, and they look like little lines here. I'm just going to roll real hard here a little bit, and those will roll out. I just have to hit them enough time so they spread out. So there's a little line. I'm doing it, I'm pressing down a little bit, and I got those all out. So even though they've been there 10, 15 minutes, a little drip marks, I was able to get rid of them by just rolling a little harder over them. So here's a little drip area. And I'm just going back over this floor anywhere in the drip. Notice I'm overlapping the previous epoxy by six inches or so, just to make sure I don't have any dry spots. Okay, maybe you notice I've changed direction. I was going with my back towards you all the way. But these corners are going to be hard to get the chips on. So I rolled this corner in. I rolled this other corner in. Now I'm going to get the chips while I can still stand in the room. Otherwise, I'd have to try to throw them around the corner. Okay, what we're trying to do is make sure we can get the angle on this. So I'm still inside. I changed my direction. Now I can throw them in here. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to get this corner. Okay, and now we'll say directions and there's a cabinet in this corner. I'm going to show you how to throw up underneath. That's the hardest thing to do with chips. Okay, one of the hardest things to do is to throw underneath the low cabinet. So I'm going to do that. Now that I'm standing out here, I see the light's a little different. I see I missed a spot. So if I miss a spot, we're going to see that later. So I'm going to wet my roller and try to get out here to where I missed it. And I'm going to roll this all in so it's equally wet again, so I don't see that lower mark. Okay, now I'm going to just take a two finger pinch, less is best. i got to get real low. I'm going to have to throw it sideways to get in under there. But this is tricky because you can, it's easy to get too much. So I'm going to do as little as I can each throw so that I don't get a big clump. Okay, not too bad. And I got this corner over here. So we're good. Now I put cardboard out here because I just stepped in some epoxy. My feet are going to have a little epoxy on them. It's easy to do as you're going through these last steps. I'm done with my brush because I finished up this stuff. So I'm going to try to set it where I don't step on it. Now, we have to be real careful. If we miss a little triangle, we throw our chips on it, it'll look fine. But when you sweep, it won't be stuck there and it'll have a little triangle bare spot. So here's the time to you know, be real careful as you're getting into the sunlight that you're covering all. Also, the worst thing you can do is to pour the last year material on the floor because it's full of debris in there. And so we don't want to, we want to dip right to the end. Also, I've stepped out here. It looks like my feet are clean now on the cardboard. I'm going to take my last dip. Careful not to drip from the pail as you pass it. If I put the pail out too soon, I sometimes get drips going back in. And I'm going to roll the last little edge. This edge I'm only coat, doing one coat because we taped out a little farther, so I'm putting a coat on just a little thicker. I don't want to float it in, but I can put it on a little thicker here. And then I want to make sure that any uh, little pools I roll out well. And I push down a little bit on this edge to make sure I, I don't miss the tape. Here's a little dry spot right here. This is a little shallow. Here's another dry spot. So it's hard when you're transitioning up. Here's another one. You missed a little spot. If I didn't catch that, when we put the chips down, you'd see it won't stick there. And we'll have a problem. Okay. Now, now, what we do out here, I'm going to not worry about getting chips on the driveway here because I need to get it on both sides in order to get the pattern down. If I try to just do it in the garage, it won't, won't give me just the garage. And I'm getting a little wind activity here, so 
Again, little three finger pinches. Hit something so it bursts into a cloud. Sometimes I throw at an angle because I have to throw it so far back there. Okay, now the last thing is we don't want to glue this tape down to the floor. You notice we went up the wall here a little so it's easy to grab the tape. You just do it to the bottom, you got to get your fingers all wet to get the tape up. So it's nice to have it up. If we left this down until morning, we probably have to use a putty knife to get that all off. And throw everything away. There's a little epoxy in here. It's going to be hard in about 20 hours. If I thought I was going to use it, I'd keep it clean. We aren't going to be using this anymore, so I'm just going to take my tools and throw them away, and this will be hard. And you can throw it in your regular trash once it's hard. You can't throw this in regular trash when it's liquid, but when it's epoxy and hardened, it's just a plastic lump. be no problem. So, be neat.